You know, while record-breaking temperatures uh, and then freezing temperatures <laughs> have got you confused about when to start the yard work, well, Michigan it always reminds us that maybe now is a good time to plan. <laughs> Perfect time for West Michigan Home and Garden Show if you're headed to that this weekend at DeVos Hall. And joining us this morning, Matt Deemer from Everett's Landscape. He's the designer of this year's feature garden. Hey, Matt, how are you? Good, how are you? Uh, I don't know. Do I bring my suntan oil or my parka? You know, you never I know. know. Right? <laughs> but, right? You never know now. But, but people with those warmer days have really started thinking about getting out and yep. getting into their yards, getting into their gardens. Yep. So talk about what Everett's does specifically your feature garden because they're highlighting you this year yeah so uh this year we're the feature garden in the center of the home show yep um it's just it's a big garden space it's for all basically highlighting the grand rapids landscape association okay so all landscapers around the west michigan area um and we just have a big space with a lot of plantings a lot of hardscape uh water feature and stuff in there too um so we're going to be highlighting Trees, plants, flowers, just is there everything. Is a focal piece? Is there a centerpiece to there your garden? Is, yeah. Oh, so right. we have kind of the focal part is the Hobbit House. So we built a Hobbit House, and then we have a waterfall coming out of that. So A Hobbit House. A Hobbit House. I yeah. love it. Yeah. <laughs> no, and you could have that in someone's backyard if they wanted you could, it, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's we wanted you... it to be unique. So It's definitely that. So if you yeah. look, look for the Hobbit House, and you'll know you're in the right spot. What do you love about the Home and Garden Show? Why, why, why do you guys keep coming back to this? Yeah, we love the Home and Garden Show. We just get to talk with people, create new relationships with people, um, and just begin that first step of the landscape process. I'm so. in that right now, Matt. I mean, it's amazing that you're here today because we want to redo the front of our house. Yeah. So when does someone start that? Lead time, shortages, supply yep. chains, we hear all these terms getting floated around. Yep. If I wanted to say, uh, you know, April or May to have a new front lawn, yeah. do I start today? Right now is the best time. <laughs> okay, I mean, okay. you, you see Michigan weather, it was 73 degrees out yesterday. Uh, obviously, it's colder now, but... I mean, there's no snow on the ground. It's good to get out, see once what you're looking for, mm -hmm. and then you can get ahead of ahead of everyone else. And, and if I wanted to, at, at this home show, could I schedule it right there? You could, yep. Okay. yep. You can schedule a consultation with me right then and there, and I can come out and meet with you. Absolutely. That's going to happen. You know that, awesome. Matt. <laughs> <laughs> now, you guys, have, uh, we've been to your place numerous yep. times. Japanese maples are a big deal. Oh, is, yeah. that, is that still a big trend for you guys? It is still a big trend. It's unique trees, um, just very, very cool kind of create a different space in your yard with those unique trees. Um, modern type plants are becoming a good trend. So um, that's with patios, hardscapes, the lighter colors, darker colors, like the grays and stuff. Okay. Um, kind of more square, rectangular. Um, but there's also still that like naturalistic trend that's still, some people like that. So sure. more curvy, a little bit more unique. So. Yeah, so we have curvy now, and yeah. I think we want to go to that more, more modern. modern look. Yep. So that's what yep. you're talking about. So yeah. is the more modern look kind of where the trend's headed? It is, yeah. All yep. right. Good, yep. good, good to know I'm on trend. That's good. Yeah, right. <laughs> and, I, and we'll start the process now. When someone comes out to see you at yep. the show, are they able to purchase anything right there at the show? So there's certain things that you can purchase. So across the hallway, there's a... Uh, like a retail space mm -hmm. and we actually have a Everett's has a booth in there as well so they can purchase some plants and some different pots and things Excellent. in there as well. Well so. people are going to come out and see at the home and garden show yeah. but if they can't make it out and they want to come to your nursery yep. you have more than one location. Oh yeah yep so we have our main operations off of Eastern in Cutlerville um, and then a mile away we have a garden center that anyone can come in anytime we got a very knowledgeable staff that will come and help help you out. That's the truth. Find, yeah. yeah. You got you, any question I've ever thrown to you guys. Yeah. Whoever I talked to immediately had the answer. Yep. It was crazy. It's like I couldn't stump anybody. <laughs> and you and you always got classes for kids too. Yep. There's always something happening. Yeah. So West Michigan Home and Garden Show. That's where we want to send people to see you and get started on that landscaping or that garden or whatever they've got waiting for you. Check out the Japanese maples. They are pretty cool looking trees. All happening February 29th through March 3rd at DeVos Place. You can go to grhomeshow.com for more and don't miss the feature garden from Everett's right there in the middle. We'll be right back.